Hello everybody, it's Courtney here at Scrapbook and Memories with techniques at two o'clock. <laughs> so today we are going to be kind of playing with fountain pens. I've had a lot of people ask about fountain pens, how you fill them, what they're about. So um, we're going to kind of wait for some people to catch us and get going. We also currently have on our private group called Scrapbook and Memory Scoop, we have our private Facebook sale going on. Um, so make sure to jump over there and check out and see what great deals and steals we have going on that. Um, how's everybody hanging in? So we are on day six. I think day six of quarantine of not having the store open. So I hate to say it's starting to feel a little bit more normal. It's not normal and it kind of sad not seeing everybody. So we do miss seeing everyone, but um, whenever they do release the quarantine and let everybody go shopping, um, I'm gonna need like a one week lead time to know so I can clean up this disastrous mess I've made. Because since there's no customers coming in, I haven't felt the need to put stuff on the racks or organize stuff. So literally we are checking products in and just throwing them in piles on the table all over the store because we don't have any customers, so why not? Um, thank you everybody that has been putting in your online orders. We have those um, packed and we are shipping stuff out. So we've got all of that going. Um, trying to zoom in without losing my comments. <laughs> Me and technology. So we've got some faces on. So I thought I'd go and show you girls some kits while we're waiting for some more people to join us. Um, show you some different kits that we have right now because everybody is saying that they are absolutely bored out of their mind and want some stuff to do. So I pulled some card kits that we have over on the racks to kind of show you the samples. And then also... Um, what we have. So these kits are not up on the website, um, but they are available for purchase. So just give us a call at the 816-884-3273. Give us a call on the store line and we will get these rang up for you and get them shipped out. Or um, if you want us to do curbside pickup, we'll just hold them for you. So just give us a holler and we'll get those done. So the first card kit we have here is Floating Bouquet Cards by Hunky Dory. This kit does four cards and it's really cute because they um, are easel cards. So I'm gonna kind of show it to you sideways. Whoop, donk. Um, so kind of show it to you there sideways. The cards do fold flat, and then they have this cute little easel, and this little floating, you can kind of see they're floating on a transparency card. Um, so we've got those, and I did not write down how many of each kit we had. So if you're interested in it, give us a call and we'll let you know if we still have them. Um, I know we have a limited number of each one of these kits. We just didn't write down what we had. So floating easel card. There's going to be four of these cards in a kit. And the price on this one is $25. And Ken's going over right now to see how many of these kits that we have. And then like I said... Give us a call. Operators will be waiting at the phone, Mr. Valley, um, to take your orders for you. So floating card kits, $25 for that one. And it'll come in a set like this. So it has all of your pictures, your written instructions. So this one is very, very easy. You just pop these guys out and pop them on foam dots. I got three over here. So we have four of that kit, four of that kit. Okay, another kit that we have is the Sweet Succulent Card Kit. So this card kit was designed by Deanna, our friend up in Canada, Clipper Street. She does an amazing job and all these kits are actually hers. Um, she does beautiful cards, lots of layers, lots of 3Ds and pieces on them. And this one is called Sweet Succulents. It is $38 and it will come with everything baggied. So all your cards are baggied, everything is pre-cut. All you have to do is cut the pattern papers and we can get those going for you. How many do we have? I 
I have six. We only have six of this kit left. So sweet succulents, six of those. And like I said, it's everything is already die cut for you. Your ephemera is in there, your 3D pieces, beautiful cards, beautiful pieces. Um, we have those available. Next one is we're going to get you started on Christmas because you know everybody says, oh, I have plenty of time to get my Christmas cards done. I'm going to get started. And we all wait till the last minute. And December 24th, we're like, mm, I'll do better next year. Well, we'll get you started now. So this card kit is called Starry Night. And it is $39. It's going to make these five beautiful cards, lots of layering, lots of 3D to them. Um, all your step-by-step -step instructions and everything is in there to do these beautiful cards. So that one was Starry Night. We have one more Christmas card one. I found two more sweet succulents. Wait, hold on. This is the nope. other one. Christmas. This one is called, what is this one called? Country Christmas. Country Christmas. Thanks, Ken. Country Christmas. And again, it'll make five cards designed by the lovely Deanna. And lots of 3D, lots of layers to these. This one is $39, and it looks like we only have three. Only three of this kit. So um, another beautiful Christmas card kit. Get you started on your Christmas cards early and now instead of waiting till Christmas. I think this is the last one. The last kit we have is this one right here. Lots of pretty butterflies, good for birthdays, any occasions. You can kind of change the sentiments out if you want different sentiments. This one we are calling Sweet Sentiments. It is $38 for this one. And again, beautiful 3D layers, beautiful cards, lots of pretty pinks. Um, would be great for a Mother's Day. You could leave these sentiments off or stamp something or kind of swap them out. You will get an entire ephemera pack. So if you don't like what's in there, you can use a different sentiment. So there's thinking of you, um, life is better with you. So there's tons of sentiments in there that if you want to use a different one than what was used on the card, feel free to. How many we got of that one, hun? Seven. We only have seven of that kit available. So like I said, these kits are not up on our website yet. So if you're interested in them, give us a call, 816-884-3273. And Mr. Valley will be standing at the phone to take care of that for you. And we can hold them for in-store pickup or we can have them shipped out to you. Hi, everybody. Everybody's starting to tune in now, so we see you. So today, what we're gonna be talking about in our techniques, because we have tons of questions, is fountain pens. They want to know how you load them, what you do with them, and why a fountain pen. Um, I say why not a fountain pen. Fountain pens are not calligraphy pens. A lot of people think they're calligraphy. There's a big difference. Calligraphy pens have a chisel tip on them. These are just a fountain pen. So you have your fine, medium, and look, I don't even have to push and it glides. So the thing about a fountain pen is there's no force on it. It just glides. So it's not tiring for your hand. You can swap, this is a Lamy, it's from Germany. You can swap these nibs in and out and change them. And they're just so fun to write with and you can do different colors and things. So I'm gonna show you girls um, how to load some fountain pens. So there's different types. This one is called a Lamy. This is the one made in Germany. There's two different ways that you can do a Lamy. So you can pop a cartridge in it, which is what's in here. You can see my cartridge is empty. So all I do is pull that out and then I put, this is a new cartridge. It's already got the ink on it. It has a little cap on it. You just pop that guy in there. You'll hear him snap and then you just twist the back side on and you're ready to go. That's all you have to do to load it. Let me get it started here off the page. All you have to do is load it and look at that. Now we've got a really pretty turquoise color. And that's all you have to do for those Lammies is just pop a cartridge in. All of our fountain pens we have up on our website. You can just go to the website scrapbookinmemories.net and click on fountain pens and you'll see all the different cartridges, all the different inks and things we got and 
they're fun to use. This one I think is called blue green or green blue from the fountain pen. Another thing with the Lamy's is the cartridge, the nibs come in different nibs. So we have fines and mediums. You can also pull these nibs off and swap them out with a different nib. So you're not committed with your nib. You can change it. Another thing that Lamy, so when you first get a new Lamy, this one is the brand new limited edition color. I just bought this one this morning. Um, Tourmaline is the color of this. I, I don't know if it's showing you girls the real color on here, but is this is the most beautiful turquoise I've ever seen in my life. It is fabulous. Um, so when you first get a Lamy, because this one is brand new, it's going to have this little thing on here and that's going to kind of hold it for you. So what you're going to do is you're going to untwist it and you're just going to take that little ring off and you're going to just kind of chuck it. You don't need that little ring anymore. It's going to come with a blue cartridge. It has not been popped yet, but these pins have been tested. So every pin before it leaves the factory has been tested with Lamy. So it will already have blue ink in it. You can flush water with it to get rid of the blue ink um, when it's new, or you can just pop your blue cartridge in and you're ready to go. I am going to use a converter. I'm gonna show you girls how to use a converter. So this um, guy here is a converter. So what you do is you twist it up and down and can you kind of see it sucking up kind of like a syringe does? That is what's going to suck the ink into it so you can fill it with your own ink. So instead of popping the cartridge in, I'm going to pop the converter in. And then I've put it all the way down. Then I'm going to fill it with a bottled ink. This ink here is also the limited edition Termaline ink that is going to match this pen. Um, it has a sheen to it, which is really, really pretty. So what you're going to do, and I did not grab a paper towel, so I'll have to grab a paper towel in a second. What you're going to do is you're going to take your pen and you're going to stick it down into the bottle ink past the nib. So you're going to stick it down in there, and then all you're going to do is suck it up. And can you see how it pulled the ink into the converter there? Now, it's not all the way full because it's the first time I used it and it had air. So you can push it back down and then pull it back up to get the fuller ink in it. Because the first time I ever use it, so see how full that is now? So then all you can do is we're just going to recap the backer on it and let me grab I need to grab a paper towel to kind of wipe that off and then we're not going to clean it and then you can write with it and you can see that beautiful new color isn't that pretty beautiful color on there so that is the new Termaline. Can you get me a paper towel for my fingers? Did you make a mess? Yeah. You're going to do this without making a mess. Um, anytime you have ink, it just doesn't happen. Okay, so the next one that we're going to show you is a Twisby. Um, Luis, we do not have left-handed nibs because anytime we order nibs from Lamy, I have to order five of them, and I'm afraid I wouldn't sell the other four. So um, we have not ordered left-handed nibs for those. Um, so the next one is our Twisbees. So Twisbees are different because they are a piston fill. So they don't take cartridges like the other one does. This is going to be your piston fill. So again, it's going to be a giant plunger. So when you twist it, see how that plunger goes up and down? And then that is just going to suck the ink right back into it. So this one is called an Eco. It has a clear chamber so you can kind of see your inks in there which is really fun to do and then they're gonna have different nibs on these so we have like extra fine fines mediums bolds and the 1.1 which is like a chisel tip um, these nibs you cannot swap out so whatever nib you get or pen you get that is what you're going to have and then this little guy 
again, you're going to stick it down in the ink thing, inkwell, and suck it up. And the advantage to this over the Lamy is the ink capacity. It is going to hold tons more ink in it than what the little converters on the Lamy's do. This one, so these are the Ecos. So the Ecos are a large pen. And then we have this one that's called an ALR, which is a mini. The difference is, is the gears in this one are acrylic and plastic. The gears in this one are all metal. So with the fountain pen again, this one's a mini, so he's a little guy and he fits nicely in my planner. And then again, you write with that and it just glides so nicely. Oh, I love my fountain pens. I like to collect colors and pens and they are all so much fun to write with. So this one, and let me show you, we just got in a new limited edition color. So this one is the new yellow um, Eco that just came in. Does anybody have any questions? Does anybody have a fountain pen and love them? Anybody need to dip their toe in a fountain pen and try it? So the Ecos, I guess I didn't give you guys prices. So the Lammies, Sorry, we're gonna go backwards. Lamy's come in two different styles. They come in, and here's a selection of colors that we have in Lamy's. They come in acrylic versions, which is what these guys are here. And these run $37. Then the All Stars are aluminum bodies, which kind of makes them more of a metal kind of shiny. These um, are $47. Barbara, I don't know what the difference is in the left hand or right hand nib, how big of a difference it makes. Um, might be something I have to Google search because I have not actually tried one. So I don't know what the difference is in them. Um, okay, then there we have our Ecos, which is this guy right here. Honey, how much are the Ecos? And I think he just went outside to let the dog out. Um, these are the most affordable ones. I think they're $28.99 for the Ecos. And they come in a variety of colors. And we've got lots of those. And if you go to our website, you can see all of those um, that are on there. This little guy is a Twisby also. Um, you can plunge it. So this one to fill it is really super easy. You just take the bottle off, you stick it down into your bottle of ink, and then you just push it and release and it fills it. So this one is really super easy to fill and it's under $20 too. I think, I don't have my price list with me, but I think it's like 17 or 18 99. And these are called the Twisby Goes. Um, I do have, um, some girls are asking about different nibs. I do have Lamy nibs. I think we have fine, medium, and extra fine right now in stock. So we do have those different nibs in stock and available. And um, yes, I love, love, love my Lamy's. I kind of got addicted to fountain pens and the addiction just kind of keeps growing. Um, they make great gifts. They're great for guys. They're great for kids. Um, some other uh, ones that we have, this is the Twisby. So this is the same guy that I have here. This is the mini. So this is the small guy and it's all aluminum. And then we have the bigger one, which is an AL. And you can kind of see how this one is longer than the mini and it's all going to be aluminum also and they have different body colors the body colors are different limited colors i think we have turquoise there's purples there's grays or they just come in clear so those are really fun to kind of play with and again you can kind of swap out the inks on them the biggest difference is is lammies you can swap swap the nibs twisbies you cannot swap the nibs so you kind of have whatever nib it comes with um, so yeah, so that's kind of a quick crash course of fountain pens. You've got Lammies, you've got, and oh, and I do have a Lammy, and I think we have, I'll have to look, I think we have the 1.1 nib up there. So this is one of the chisel nibs. You can kind of see it's a flat nib, and when you write with it, it's going to be a much broader, see how that's a fatter nib? So when you write with it, you can get your skinny, and then when you come down, you've got your fatter line. So you can kind of play with those 
and control your line depth. So the chisels are really fun because you can get kind of that faux calligraphy kind of look. And as you can see, I love my fountain pens and I have a collection. So these are um, just a few of the ones that I grabbed this morning to kind of play with. And then I have my new Tramamine turquoise one. So thank you everybody for joining us at two o'clock and we will see you again tomorrow. Make sure to go over to our Scrapbook and Memory Scoop page because we do have the Facebook sale going on right now and our card kits. So give us a call and we're happy to help you. So thank you everybody for tuning in and we will talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.